Here's how to take digital data in SLP Toolkit. If you've already added your schedule, then your session events will auto-populate on your agenda each day. Or you can get up and running by adding a quick session event for the next group of students you plan to see. Just type in their names, adjust the start and end times, check if you want the event to repeat each week, and then click Create. The Group Notes box is a great area to jot down your session plan or activities you'll be doing with your group. You can also attach any lesson plans created from the Plan tab. Click on the time to enter the session event. You'll see your students listed on the left-hand side with their goals directly beneath, and you can always add goals within the session event as needed. When you click on a goal to target, it will remain highlighted as you toggle between students. You can also X out any goals you aren't targeting to eliminate the visual clutter. If you ever need one back, just click the refresh icon next to your student's name. Now let's start taking some data. From the dropdown, you can select the calculator type that best matches how your goal is being measured, whether it's a percentage, opportunities, or frequency of a behavior. Simply click plus for correct responses and minus for incorrect responses. You can get really detailed by also tracking the types of cues that help your student perform successfully. This feature is particularly helpful for students who make smaller gains of progress over an extended period of time. So check out the elicited accuracy tooltip if you're interested in learning more. While taking data, if you click a button by mistake, hit the undo button to take back the plus or minus you accidentally gave. Then click undo again to save changes. You can also reset the calculator completely by clicking the refresh button. To quickly view data from previous sessions, click the graph icon. The graph will adjust depending on your calculator type. Accuracy plots as a line graph with elicited accuracy represented in orange and an average plotted in gray. The opportunity graph has two lines to show the total amount of opportunities in gray and the number of opportunities correct in blue. Lastly, frequency is shown as a bar graph with the total number of instances per session. Below the goal, there is ample space to document notes related to an individual student regarding behavior, mood, observations, or even a language sample. You can use the hyperlink icon to attach pictures, PDFs, or audio recordings from your Google Drive. In addition, there's a goal notes box to track information associated with a specific goal, such as the level of support or stimulus items that were used. If your district requires Medicaid billing, SLP Toolkit has your back. Head to the agenda view and click the dollar sign icon next to your student's name. You'll notice the icon is red to indicate the student has data, and blue if there's no data entered for the student. Clicking the icon will copy your student's data and notes so you can quickly paste them into your billing software. Feel free to modify what info is copied by editing the billing template from the Actions dropdown. You can also access various data reports for your student's data within the Reports tab. So get ready to throw out that pen and paper and start streamlining your data collection today.